Hello, I'm Richard Stanley, and I want to share a project uh, that I've been working on around how to see uh, transmitters that are really, really nearby, like in my dining room nearby, um, and how to kind of visualize those in a heat map uh, to show uh, angle of arrival and to show uh, magnitude. So this is, there's so many things on YouTube that are awesome uh, that get into radio stuff, and this is one that I found uh, pretty inspiring, which is a presentation by Natasha Hurley Walker, uh, who is a radio astronomer in uh, Western Australia. And uh, the folks there have a, an enormous array of, of dipoles uh, on the in the desert, and they're able to create these kind of, you know, post processing, of course, but they're able to create these kind of amazing radio views uh, of the Milky Way. And so just to kind of learn the basics and reinvent the wheel in order to learn, uh, I wanted to build something that could very detect very simple things in a very confined environment. And so I wanted to use uh, GNU Radio and to use uh, some SDRs. And um, again, this is a, a work in progress, so there'll be issues <laughs> that we'll discuss. Uh, first thing I'd like to show you is a simulation. Uh, this is a 2D simulation. Uh, all the simulations and everything are available uh, uh, in my GitHub. Uh, and, and the hardware test as well. So in this in this simulation, what's happening is that I'm moving around a transmitter, uh, kind of a pseudo transmitter, you know, simulated transmitter, um, with regard to its phase um, in both azimuth and elevation. And the top thing is uh, elevation, next is azimuth in those in these QT GUI time raster syncs. And on the left is a video SDL sync, uh, which combines those. So what this shows is that as you move the transmitter around, you should be able to visualize that in the time raster syncs, but also well, together in the video uh, SDL sync. And this is this is the goal, right? So this is how we kind of tried to figure out the math and, and how to do it in GNU Radio. Okay, so how this is working uh, under the hood is that uh, let's say a radio signal uh, hits one antenna before it hits another. Um, those are separate radios, and therefore, if you if you if you lag a signal with regard to the other, uh, you should be able to see uh, the energy uh, in that direction, right? And same as the other way. So you lag one signal uh, with regard to another, you should be able to see the the energy. So you you lag, and then you combine those signals, and then you can create an array of pixels in which the brightness or the darkness represents uh, energy and you have it for each of those kind of steering vectors or weight vectors. Uh, in GNU Radio, it looks like this. You um, take signals from, from and this, this is a one dimension example where it's just two radios. So you take signals from the left RX and the right, left and right, uh, you know, so like an azimuth, and then you lag their phase and then, uh, add them together and take the magnitude. Okay, um, excuse me, only the best. So <laughs> Legos for holding the antennas, uh, eBay, log periodic dipoles, and, uh, and and actually great radio. So there's, these are uh, uh, Edis user V210s, and these are uh, phase coherent w within themselves, right? So there's two, two, re two receive to transmit on these things. I'm not using the transmit, but so there's two receive. So in one, in one B210, uh, they're phase coherent, which means you can resolve the differences at a, at a pretty small, you know, number of radians or, or degrees uh, between signals. Uh, and there's one for each dimension. And then there's a ham HT uh, used for the, the transmitter. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a couple of mini circuits attenuators on there. I already blew up one daughter board accidentally in doing this. So, you know, pay attention to link budgets. Um, all right, so I'll do a demo. This is a one dimensional demo. So this is just uh, one B210 and two antennas. All right, so as I move the radio around, you should see that there is some tracking of it in terms of direction of arrival as well as magnitude. So the, the, you know, the, the brightness or color, it depends on, the, on which you know, view you're looking at, uh, represents uh, the magnitude and then angle of arrivals being represented by, the, uh, by, by, by where that's moving. 
Um, so that's one dimension. Uh, that's pretty straightforward um, and uh, a lot of fun, actually. All right, so now I'll get into the work in progress. This is the two dimension example. Um, this is a little more complex uh, and I'll explain why. Mostly be, not because of the math as much as, as my limitations of my antennas. So as you kind of move the transmitter around an axis in which it's the polarization is lined up between the receiver and the transmitter, no problem. So if you're like this with the, with elevation like this, you know, with the azimuth, no problem. But when you get in the corners in, the, in these quadrants, like it just, it breaks down. <laughs> uh, so it sort of works, but I think this, uh, this requires some new antenna. So if anyone knows how to get circularly polarized 70 centimeter antennas, uh, that'll fit in my dining room. That would be great. And I think that will kind of solve that issue. Okay. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, thank you, um, for attending. And, uh, if you want more about like, listen to a real expert about, uh, phase rays and beam forming, um, John Kraft, the Analog Devices, is running a workshop on Thursday. Uh, look forward to that. That's going to be great. And also, uh, there's some fun stuff in Good Radio uh, 3.9, uh, which is coming out in coming months, and that has a lot of fun stuff, uh, thanks to uh, thanks to Mike Piscopo. And if you, if like me, you're having fun uh, with this and you want to enjoy some YouTube videos, GRCon 2017 is uh, just so amazing for this. Uh, they're fantastic presentations by uh, Travis Collins and Sam Whiting and Ben McCall and Will Myrick. Uh, so please check those out. Those are just great fun uh, for DOA and beam forming stuff. Again, I'm going to put all the uh, flow graphs and demo stuff and all that kind of stuff uh, in the GitHub repo, uh, Citizen Rich slash Sing Signals. Um, thank you and uh, have a great conference and uh, be safe.